Welcome to part three. Finally, the sturdy mounting frame is finished and the engine has been flipped 90 degrees to the vertical position. Uh, no mean feat, considering it was just myself and my trusty engine hoist to accomplish the task. I thought some of you might appreciate a brief overview of some of the ancillaries on the engine. I have to get my head round how they all work if I'm ever to get this beast up and running. At the top of the rear of the engine is the electric starter motor, manufactured by Rotax. Moving to the bottom of the engine, we come across the major components for the fuel injection system. Fuel is injected into the center of the supercharger where it's mixed with air, then delivered to the cylinders. The single point fuel injection system was manufactured by Hobson Limited of Coventry, England. On the right hand side of the engine is the supercharger boost control unit, again manufactured by Hobson. Moving back to the top of the engine, there are two magnetos. Moving to the front of the engine, there is a, a circular tube uh, which is part of the fire suppression system. And finally, right at the front of the engine is the cooling fan, uh, the blades of which are attached to the central hub, which is in fact a centrifugal clutch. I hope you found that interesting. I now need to go away and discover how to connect up all of the oil, fuel, pipes and the myriad of electrical connectors that are required to get this engine up and running. <laughs>